a cup of coffee, my notebook, a piece of A4 paper, a pencil, a square, ruler, my favorite circular saw, a guide for cutting, a really big plywood board, and a table. What's going on here? I got a new project. I'm trying to make individual menus for all our items on our uh, soft cream shop. They're all this A4 paper size, I've decided. And I'm gonna basically print out the menu on the paper, cut out the board to the size, glue the paper to the board, and then somehow hang those in the area around the vending machine where we sell the tickets. So it's actually gonna be a lot more work than it probably really warrants but I want it to be something kind of special and I want the menus to have a really kind of handmade, authentic feeling and yet look really kind of unique and cool. And that is just something that you can't go and buy from a store. It just doesn't happen. Okay, there you have it. This is the size boards that I want. It should fit an A4 piece of paper. I'm gonna glue it on, and then I'll be able to hang these up. I think that should look good. Just gotta cut a few more. I need 24 in total. Okay, I got all the boards cut. Tomorrow I will sand them, and maybe the next day we'll print out the menus, and I'll glue them on. So yeah, it's gonna take a little time, but I think it's gonna be a nice handmade feel. This Mod Podge glue is like a clear glue, so you can glue like paper or whatever to pretty much anything, and it dries clear, so with a matte finish. It looks really cool, I, I love that stuff. Mod Podge. Our menu panel project. So presently, I made this kind of rough menu like that, don't really like it. Um, today, we're gonna print out and glue the pictures onto the boards I made. It's a rainy day, it's a perfect day to stay inside and do something creative. Check out this guy. That guy's gotta cut grass today. Oh. I think I got the better day. Welcome to my office, the second floor. Boy, this place needs a lot of work too. The next project is gonna be to clean up my office space. Can't wait to do that. Okay, my favorite printer, the Canon N1. That's a beast. The Pro one, excuse me. Got good paper. These are the boards paint brushes. Here is the Mod Podge uh, matte glue that will glue the paper onto the boards. Okay, let's see how this goes. So that's my basic technique for the Mod Podge. Um, I'm not a pro. Um, there's a million other YouTube videos, I'm sure, teaching people how to use this stuff, but what I found is if you're gonna glue something on wood, um, you gotta put a layer of the glue on the wood first. And then I lay the paper down and I kinda move it around a little bit to get that glue on the back of the paper, and then put another layer on top. If you do it with a paintbrush, you're gonna see the paintbrush strokes even when it dries. It dries up clear, really nice, but you will have that kind of paintbrush, those little lines 
you do it with a sponge, it's a little smoother. We've got about 20 more to do. Okay. Saturday morning. I'm gonna try to get this menu panel project done in time for our opening at 10 a.m. Uh, yeah, hopefully in about an hour and a half we'll have it all installed and this will look quite different. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. Shop's got open in 45 minutes. I got the poles in, I got our vending machine there, and now I'm going to lay out and screw in the menu panels. Then I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and uh, put the doors back on. And hopefully we'll be able to open at 10. It's kind of tight. I probably shouldn't be sitting here talking to the camera. It's uh, 1 p.m. and beautiful day. It's super sunny today. We're getting quite a few uh, customers actually. As you can see, people are coming to the shop. The menu seems to be working okay. I'm glad I got that done. It's still a little rough. I kind of feel like I want to do something more to make it, I don't know, a little more professional. Uh, homemade is, is natural and homemade is the look I'm going for, but not like super rough and raw. It needs to look sort of nice. Okay, let's go check it out. 